Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So my buddy sent me a replay of this tank, the FV301, the Tier 8 British light tank. I can't say it's a tank I love, but it's not bad. But the game my buddy has is pretty dang good, so I think I should showcase it. Anyway, let me give you a quick review of the tank before we jump right in. So, overall, good. Gun, good. Armor, okay. You'll get the occasional bounce or two, but not many. Maneuverability, great. Yeah, it's a fast tank and it's a light tank, so that's all you need to know. And with that, let's jump right in. Okay, so we're on Castilla here and looking at the lineups, well, they have a CC64, that's a problem, and the Luva. Okay, but he's got an AMX-50 with him and a Tiger II. Some pretty balanced teams. The problem is for them, they only have one med, and that's Pershing. They have no light tanks. And to be honest, I would take the FV-301 every which way over the Pershing. You can outspot it, it's faster, guns about as good, and this tank has light camo. So if you can get rid of that Pershing, he'll be sitting pretty because he'll be able to outspot everybody and pretty much terrorize them. So let's see what happens. Naturally, he's gonna head over here. Now he could go up, but instead he decides to take A straight away because even the Pershing at its top speed probably won't be able to reach it before he can cap this base. And putting pressure on the enemy team right up front is always a good thing. So far so good, no Pershing in sight. Okay, so now he's going to go up the hill and see what he can see. Unfortunately, one of his buddies was hit pretty hard, so that's not good news. But they are getting C right now. Oh, lo and behold, there's Mr. Pershing. Okay, so he took a hit for his trouble there, and he wasn't able to hit in return, but somebody's with him here, and luckily it's going to take his attention away from my buddy, so he's able to push on in here, hit him once, and now he's just going to be very cautious here. He doesn't want to get lit up by any of those tank destroyers maybe sitting at the back so he's just gonna peek on over and boom and he bounced that shell so as you can see you will be able to get a few bounces in this tank even though it's a light tank now he's pushing in further can he find those tank destroyers at the back love to get rid of these guys over there unfortunately he's not able to do that it takes a hit in return but now the Pershing is not looking good and he's getting double teamed and it's pretty much all over yep He's got no support, and he's gone. And now my buddy's just gonna push on in here and uh, yeah, terrorize them from the rear. Okay, they're all focused over there, so he's just able to one up, boom, one shot. One more, boom, two shots. Any other tanks he can hit? Yes, come on. Just missed that, unfortunately. But luckily, they're not going anywhere, so he can just pick and choose which tank he wants to shoot at. That's definitely a tank you want to get rid of, the CC-64, but if you can eliminate any tanks, that's always a good thing. As you can see, he needed to use APCR to hit the CC at distance frontally, and only when he's <laughs> at an angle. And now, since they know he's there, he's going to run away, or pretend to run away. And he's just going to take his time. Nope, he's deciding to actually run away. Okay, so off he goes. This tank is zippy and it does have great acceleration. So it's one of those tanks you can flex with. If you're not sure what flexing is, it means the ability to get around the map and basically reposition yourself. So now he's around. They're all there. So he's pretty much got free reign unless a tank is just sitting in spawn that hasn't come out maybe and it's waking up, but so far nothing. He's coming around, they have no clue where he is. He's gonna pop up here, see what he can see. I see someone in B, well he knows someone's in B, so can he get a shot in there? He's waiting, he'd love to get an easy shot if he could. Come on, where are you, where are you? Come on out. There he is, and boom. Enemy armor is damaged. And then he's off again. Okay. 
And lo and behold, he's found a nice juicy target. Yes, the Emil, and oh boy, AFK. Oh, happy days. If you want damage, that is. I'm a big believer if you've got an AFK, just get rid of them as fast as you can because they can always wake up later and if you've left them, they might surprise you from behind, so that could be really painful. There are times where you don't want to do that, but lo and behold, uh, yeah, great for me like this. <laughs> oh boy. And he's taking out another tank. So now things are looking good, unfortunately. Ooh, he does take a nasty hit there from behind, but his speed is... You know, phenomenal, and against this tank, he should have no problem. That he should have no problem causing all sorts of trouble for him. Now, when he comes around here, boom! It's one and speed. Yeah, the traverse on the CC64 is it's let down. You Enemy don't want to be caught in the open against a very fast tank. And yeah, he paid the price. And lo and behold, he's only got one tank left, and he's done a sizable amount of damage, as you can see. Unfortunately, the, the caps are probably going to end before he can do much more damage. It's a shame, really, because he probably could have hit 5,000 if not for that. But, you know, 4,700 damage <laughs> in FV 301. That is an excellent game, if you ask me. So, what do you think of the FV 301? Are you a fan? Or do you just skip on over and just move to the Vickers? Because the Tier 9 is a lovely tank, I will say. The Tier 10, good, but I think Tier for Tier, the Tier 9 is the bomb. The Tier 8 can be very strong, as you've seen, but it really depends on the lineups. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments below. Hit like if you like, whatever. Do all that jazz, thingamajigs, and I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.